here's to you. Thank you. Quarantini with Kathy. Mm -hmm. I am cracking up that we both did the olive martini. Me too. Because so, I can't remember what you had the last time. I've, I, like, I've had pink Cosmos every other time. Oh. So I wanted to ask you this. Did you give me this cocktail napkin? It says, that's a horrible idea. What time? <laughs> I thought you did. You've given me the best. Like, I don't even want to use them. They're so funny. Cocktail napkins. Uh, it's my trademark. <laughs> it is your trademark. I love it. Yeah. Okay, well, to let our audience know, if you don't already, my gosh, she's a legend. We're with Kathy. <laughs> you are, gosh. She was our CEO and president of the Art Center from April 1998, am I right? Yeah. To December 31st, 2019. And then the past six months, you've been our executive artistic producer and helped with transitions and and this incredibly crazy time, Kathy, can you believe it? No, I, I truly can't. I truly can't. Because I felt what would happen now is that we would produce Kinky Boots and Footloose. And I was truly looking forward to both shows, but particularly, uh, particularly Footloose because um, Casey's first directing, total directing show uh, at the Art Center was Christmas Carol. And so I wrote to him and said, my, my biggest uh, disappointment through this COVID stuff is that we're not gonna direct my last show with you. So uh, it was, yeah. It, it's it, heartbreaking. It yeah, yeah, it's disappointing, but all the same. So I'm just sorry we didn't do the two shows yet. But no How many shows did you two have together? Do you, do you have a, an approximate? There's so many, it's hard to count maybe 40 shows. Wow. Gosh, have we not been blessed with the group of directors. Incredible. I mean, a lot of that is because of you. Uh, a lot of it is, is because of us. We, you know, they love what we do backstage. Things are ready. Right. Stuff is done beautifully. The costumes and all that stuff. And then we welcome them. And um, in the 80s, there was a book called The Artistic Home. Uh, it was a very popular book, and it was all about how artists who, because they go from place to place, show to show, theater to theater, uh, didn't really have a home. And so the, the thought was that you create an artistic home for them where they can come in, do their work, and feel like they're part of the family. And, uh, and that's what we've all, you know, that I have aspired to. And, I, and, I, and we've done it. You know? You've so achieved, yes, in, absolutely. We always tell them when, when they're cat, uh, when the first day of rehearsal, welcome home, you know, or that's you're right. home for the holidays, particularly those folks who are Christmas time. So. You Another treated us all like family too, Kath. I mean, I, I said it to you the other day in our staff phone call, but um, what I want to tell the audience is how Kathy would save clips from the newspaper of my children, and you had them still, like, I can't even find the ones that you have saved. You treated us all like family. So we all know you as the philanthropist, the community leader, the leader of our organization. What we want to see today is Kathy off the clock. We get to the <laughs> real you, which I kind of already have the pleasure of knowing, I think, a lot about you. And you're just a delightful, fun, fabulous woman. You've, you've been in retirement for one week. How's it, <laughs> how's it so far? Is it good? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful. What's been your guilty pleasure watching during quarantine? <laughs> it's always my guilty pleasure. I love all of the 90 Day Fiancés. They absolutely... <laughs> crack me up. I have never seen such stupid people. <laughs> and also some really, really, really um, couples that are really in love. But that is my guilty pleasure. Absolutely. Oh, I watched 90 Days Before, After, two years ago, coming up, whatever. <laughs> there's, so many, there's so many 90 day versions right. that there's plenty to keep my mind totally jello. <laughs> did you watch Tiger King? We did. Oh my, god. oh my god so is that we, insane we weren't going to and then we watched one and we went oh my god you're we sucked watched, in oh, you're crazy we they're watched crazy. all of that we watched all four seasons of billions i can't wait till oh i know isn't it good oh my god oh, we're obsessed so with billions weird. So weird. So weird. and um what else have we watched uh worst cooks in america um <laughs> I said to Tori last night, I was, I was uh, sitting, just sitting, and I said, I feel guilty. I'm just sitting. <laughs> you don't, don't have to. Yeah. 
I said, I don't know how to relax, but I'll figure no. it out. I'll figure it out. So how did you get into theater? As a child, did you have an inclination toward the stage or what, what tempted you in that direction? Um, I did a community, a very good little community theater in our town. And my friend's parents had tickets and they would uh, take us, uh, she and I. And then when I got to college, I took a, a stagecraft uh, stage design course and started uh, designing. And then we started, a group of us started a small uh, summer theater that became an SPT, which is what we are, small professional theater. And that lasted for me uh, seven years um, before I moved away. And uh, so you know, that, that became, and I was a resident set designer for that uh, company. Um, so it just, this, it was just bugged. I loved it. I mean, right. it was fun. And, and actually, when when I came home from college and was still designing at the little community theater too, my dad <laughs> would get my brother and his friends to come over to the theater <laughs> about you know eight o'clock or something like that and help right. build the sets. So oh, I, thought, I love it! I the did whole too. family got involved. My dad made my brother and my brother's friends. <laughs> That's fabulous! That's so great. So. Um, we have some video callers, and one of which is your successor, Jeffrey Reeves, oh, the CEO okay. and president, who you guys work together. You used to say you shared the same brain. And so <laughs> he, he has a video question for you. Congratulations, Kathy, on your retirement. You've done such remarkable things for the island and for all in our community. But for your retirement, I have one question. If you had not followed this career path, what career would you have chosen and why? Well, I'd be an architect. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I really love designing space. And um, uh, so that, that's what I would have done. Oh, that's great. When I was in the sixth grade, I thought I wanted to play. <laughs> I wanted to move to New Orleans. I wanted to play piano and I was gonna be a lawyer. <laughs> Not too oh much for a 12th grader, 11th grader. I love that. <laughs> Had you gone to New Orleans and you loved it, so you were like, hey, I got to be there? Or what, what made you want to be there? I never knew anything about it. It just seemed like it was a fun place to go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good to me. They're partying in the streets, so sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, your next question is from Bob Lee, our board chair. Hi, Bob. Hi, Kathy. Before I ask my question, I would like to say what an absolute pleasure has been to serve with you on the Art Center Board of Trustees for over 16 years. And now to my question. While I'm certain there are many, what is your fondest memory of your over 21 years at the Art Center? Thanks, Kathy. Be safe, and this is for you. Oh my God. <laughs> You just look real good there. <laughs> um, God. Very possibly, it uh, was the opening night of Les Mis. Um, I knew that, it, it still gives me chills, that we had produced something that was way beyond other people's expectations, but also way beyond what we thought we could do, it right. was that extraordinary. And we made it happen. And I was so proud of everybody. Just mm -hmm. so proud of, of Casey directing it, of the actors on stage, of Bob Phillips designing it, of the staff that built it, and the folks that got behind it. And, um, and the public responded accordingly. They did. You know, stuff. I wasn't uh, with the Art Center at that time, but I, what I remember is so many people, and including myself, saying, it was better than Broadway. And I, it really was. It was the talent. And like you said, the set, everything about it was just the most amazing production in this intimate environment that is our theater. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Gorgeous. So would you say that's your favorite show that we've done? Color Purple. That was Evan Bappas who directed that one and did a right. phenomenal job. The cast was phenomenal. Uh, I thought it was probably the most significant piece of work that we've done in my 22 years there. You know, we've done a lot of good pieces. There's a lot right. of great ones, but um, uh, my favorite comedy? Yes, what? <laughs> Spend a lot. 
Um, oh, me too. I love Spam a lot. We, we had a cast that literally was off of Broadway. It was a superior piece of classic comic timing on everybody's part. The show was hysterical. Just, it really was. Yeah. It was just the funniest thing. Oh, I mean, crying, laughing with yes, that show. Yeah. Crying. Oh, it's the best. Okay, then your third video caller is going to be Casey Colgan. Hi, Casey. Hi, Kathy and Andrea. Casey Colgan here. My question is, what was your favorite cast party and why? Cheers. And he's, drink <laughs> and he's drinking a Bloody Mary while he's asking it. My favorite cast party? It was actually the after cast parties, which... <laughs> We were at a place called, I don't know, it was a Penny Lane or something, <laughs> down by uh, uh, All About Me. And it was, and Casey was prime there, and a bunch of people, and I think we were there till four o'clock in the morning. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it was wild. It was <laughs> wild. Okay, so um, I'm going to put your acting skills to the test right now, and we're going to play a game called Two Truths and a Lie. Oh, God. So you're going to tell me. <laughs> You're going to tell I me three kid. things <laughs> you think I don't know about you. That's going to be difficult since we've worked together it's almost good. eight years. Yeah. Okay, two things that are truthful, and I have to guess which one's the lie of the three, and I can ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Right. Uh, okay, so I um, rode across the um, Canadian Rockies on a Kawasaki 900 motorcycle. Big. The biggest at that time. Wow, okay. All right, what else? Um, I flipped burgers <laughs> at a Woolworths. And at where? At where? At a Woolworths diner. A, a Woolworths, yes, okay, got it. The lunch counter. Okay. <laughs> and the third thing is that I was a high school cheerleader. Oh, God, see, I feel like you've done all three of those. Okay. Um, do you remember how much you sold the burgers for at Woolworths? I believe about 35 cents, but it came with fries. Ooh, that's specific, okay. All right, when you rode across the Rockies on your Kawasaki, were you with someone else? Did someone yes. else go with you? Yes. Okay, a boyfriend? An ex-husband. Oh, sh sorry, Tori, okay. We can take that out. <laughs> He's in Charleston. He's in Charleston. He's in Charleston. He didn't know. Okay. And then the third one was? High school cheerleader. High school cheerleader. Okay. What was, um, what was, a, give me a, can you give me a cheer? Give me a cheer. Do you remember a cheer? <laughs> give me an E. Give me an A. Give me a G. <laughs> now, mind you, I went to a parochial school. So the T was the Eagles. We did not, you know, there was no midriff. There was, the skirts were practically down to your knees, so. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't sexy cheerleader time? God, no. <laughs> it's a Catholic school, are you kidding? You got to get the skirts. You got to get the kids under your ankles. Or something. something short. Okay, I'm going to guess that the lie is the world worst burger. Wrong. Oh, shoot. Okay, the cheerleader is the lie. I mean, I've already lost, but. Yeah, I cheerlead in middle school, junior high, but not high school, yes. Oh, the Kawasaki thing really happened. You beat me. Your mm -hmm. acting skills won, you beat me. Not bad, because you're an actress and I am not. <laughs> you, you did just fine there, I believed all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Kathy, I'd like to give a toast to you to thank you for your service to the Art Center for 22 years, but also for the community and for the arts in general and just the gifts that you've given us all these years. We love you and thank you for talking to us today. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.